Hello dear students, welcome back to chemistry is easy for you. So uh, already your quiz set exam is over. Now we will be focusing on HCU previous papers uh, and Pondicherry University all those will be doing. Let's start with HCU previous year question paper. So the first question here today is from the part of kinetics. So what is given here a reaction follows the general rate law. So the rate law is given as K equal to concentration of A concentration of B square into C. Now what they are asking the concentration of B is decreased by a factor of 3 and concentration of C is decreased by a factor of 2. So uh, sorry here this is rate is equal to K into. Now uh, we have to find the rate of the con reaction decreased by a factor of. So now the new R dash the new rate would be equal to K into the concentration of A remains as such. Then concentration of B is decreased by a factor of 3. So B by 3 is there and whole square and C has become by a factor of 2. Now we can sim simplify this further as K into A into B square into C B square okay divided by 3 square would be 9 into 2. Therefore the answer would be K into A into concentration of B square into C divided by 18. So what is this? This is R. So R dash is equal to R by 18. So it is decreased by a factor of 18. Option C would be the right answer. The second question is the one that we have already discussed in one of the videos. Uh, I have given a series of uh, ranges of uh, the basicity acidic strength all these of the group 15, group 16 and all. Just, just see that video once again and you know the from that video I, I asked you to start learn those things by heart. The correct order of basicity of group 3, group 15 uh, trihydrates would be NH3 greater than PH3 greater than ASH3. Now the next question is a general question from chemistry which is the first noble gas compound reported is even if you uh, don't know many, much things about noble gas this is something that you must know and the first uh, noble gas compound reported was Xc plus Pt F6 minus. This was first reported and later on more studies and more compounds were discovered and also synthesized okay. Now the shape of NO3 minus is we have to find I have already given the method to find the shape uh, from the number of electrons. Uh, now nitrogen is having 5 in total and here we have a negative charge so plus 1 will be having 6 electrons and giving 2 to each of the oxygen and therefore we are having 3 lone pair plus 0 uh, sorry 3 bond pair plus 0 lone pair and that correspond to triagonal planar triagonal planar so our answer would be option a triagonal planar uh, please watch that video because in all exams including HCO also this uh, this shape hybridization uh, the questions from this part will be coming for sure please please verify that once again and uh, make sure that you already know the method to find it so here I hope this is clear for you uh, practice more examples so that you will become highly uh, uh, very very well uh, in this in this area now we will be doing the next question the next question is the borane B8H88 minus can be classified as we all know that if it is 2 minus or we can write this we can rewrite this as B8H8 plus 8 because the 8 minus can be added as hydrogen so it is Bn Hn plus 8 which belongs to hypoborane and this closer if it is Bn Hn plus 2 closer then uh, Nido it is Bn Hn plus 4 then Arachno it is Bn Hn plus 6. So uh, accordingly you have to classify the boranes. Now the next question is a nucleoside differs from a nucleotide in. I have already made a video on the important points that you have to remember for from polymers and biomolecules for different exams and in that I have clearly mentioned the flowchart of how nucleotide and nucleosides in the by the hydrolysis are differed, differing into uh, or can be divided into different components and from that I clearly mentioned that a nucleotide when hy undergo hy hydrolysis forms nucleosides and 
phosphoric acid so it lacks phosphate nucleoside is not having the phosphate these two together combine to form the nucleotide and nucleoside is made up of sugar and uh, the bases so definitely all those these are these three are wrong and the answer is it lacks phosphate the next question is the atomic weight of antimony is 121.757 atomic mass unit it has only two naturally occurring isotopes abundance of isotope with mass 120.904 is 57.3 the mass of other isotope is so the relationship between here there are only two isotopes let us consider the mass of the unknown mass is equal to x okay and the total uh, atomic weight of antimony that is 121.757 can be written as uh, 57.3 percentage 57.3 by 100 into this this mass 120.904 plus how much would be remaining if one is having only one is making up the 57.3 then the other isotope would be making up 100 minus 57.3 percentage divided by 100 this is the percentage okay into x but we have to find we have to find this quantity x so this is the relationship if we are having two different isotopes with different masses what we have to do that the atomic mass unit of the element as a whole would be the uh, abundance the abundance into the percentage that is the abundance into the mass of the particular isotope plus that is we have to take the mass of the percentage into mass of each of the isotopes and that together will be making up the mass of the particular element so what will happen here we can simplify this as 121.757 is equal to 0 0.573 into 120.904 plus 100 minus 57.3 is 42.7 so that divided by 100 would be making up 0 0.427x now we have to find uh, this one 0 0.427 so what will be x x will be equal to 121.757 minus now 0 0.573 into 120 0 0.904 would be approximately equal to 69.277 if I am taking up to 3 decimal point and divided by 0 0.427. So what would be the answer if we simplify this we will be getting approximately equal to 1, 1 to 0 0.902. Uh, 903 also uh, it will be approximately 903 but here uh, the closest option would be option B. So we will be going with that. What we are doing here, we will be taking the mass of the element as a whole. Then we will be uh, equating it with the abundance of each of the uh, isotope and their masses. Together then we will be simplifying to find the mass of the particular isotope that is in need. Next question is a question from biomolecules. The metals present in the metalloenzyme, carbonic anhydrase and sulfite oxidase are answer is option b zinc and molybdenum carbonic anhydrase consists of zinc and is, uh, and also sulfate oxidase contain molybdenum this is a very the 10th question or the actually ninth uh ninth question question number change in between the color of a dilute solution of sodium in liquid ammonia is blue it is due to the answer is uh, the formation of solvated electrons. This is one of the very important point in the S block elements and we have already found, uh, already uh, seen this in many other question papers as well. Solvated electrons are very important because these results in the high conductivity of this particular ammonia solution. These solvated electrons are increasing the conductivity and uh, the color is also blue because of, the, because of that. So uh, many different properties are uh, seen because of this solvated electrons and this reason is something that you should never forget because uh, it can be repeatedly asked in every exam now we'll be going to the next question the cfsc4 octahedral cocl64 minus is 18000 per centimeter the cfsc4 tetrahedral cocl4 2 minus is so what is the relationship that we have to use delta t is equal to 4 by 9 delta o which is very simple what we have to find? We have to find the CFSC of the tetrahedral 
complex and uh, we already know the com uh, CFSC of the octahedral com. So directly if you are doing 4 by 90 into 18,000. And this sums up, this becomes 8,000. 2 and we are having 8,000 per centimeter which is our option A. And if you remember this question was asked in CUSAT 2016 as well. So this is also a repeated question. Uh, this particular question also please remember this particular formula now we have a question from organic the decreasing order of rate of acetolysis of the following is so what is basically happening here is we have to uh, identify here there is a double bond okay there is a double bond uh, there would be neighboring group assistance would be there for the acetolysis and the double bond would be ni not neighboring group but the neighboring group uh, actually the double bond will be assisting for the reaction and the double bond if it is uh, anti to the particular group that is here we have to take care of OTS so if it is anti to that then uh, the reaction would be taking place faster that is the rate would be higher then uh, it would uh, so the third one would be the uh, highest that is the fastest rate so now either option uh, either option d or option a would be our answer because this is a double bond assisted reaction now the second one should definitely even though this is in the same side that is in this this is uh, not andy but on the same side of the ots group but still we have assistance from a double bond so the second one should be one here there is no double bond at all so for the acetolysis there is no factor that will be easing up the uh, or making the reaction rate higher so definitely the order should be 3 greater than 1 greater than 2 first the double bond anti to OTS then second the double bond which may be uh, on the same side of OTS and also finally without the double bond that will be having the lowest rate the answer is 3 greater than 1 greater than 2 I hope you understood so so as I said, this is a neighboring group assisted reaction. So the uh, neighboring group assistance of a pi bond is the important here. So the leaving group is the OTS or the tosylate ion will be the uh, leaving group here. And the leaving group if oriented and to the participating uh, double bond, then it will be occurring at faster rate. That is why 3 is having the highest rate. And what is the function of this double bond? As a neighboring group, the carbocation formed will be stabilized by this double bond. And that is the uh, that is the um, usual purpose of this neighboring group assistance in this particular compound. So the carbocation will be stabilized. Since this leaving group is anti, this is having the highest order. Then here there is a double bond. So definitely that will be having uh, a better, better reaction uh, rate or rate will be there. Uh, and also... The third one here there is no double bond for or no pi bond for the neighboring grouping uh, group assistance so this will be having the least rate in the acetolysis reaction so i hope you understood this therefore the order would be three greater than one greater than two so that's that's all for today we'll be doing more complex questions in the coming videos uh, today i have chosen only the medium level questions uh, so that you can start start with the preparations those who have not yet started doing question papers you can start with this we'll be doing more questions in the coming days uh, please continue watching our channel subscribe and hit the bell icon for latest notification soon after uploading this video i'll be doing the uh, solution solutions of kuset exam that was held today so please keep watching. Thank you. All the best for your exam.